So snakes are these evil, aggressive, just deadly killers, right? Well, this is probably one of the most false things that most people think of. Uh, about 51% of people, at least in the US, I'm not sure about the rest of the world, uh, have a fear of snakes. So before we get into why people have these fears and why they aren't deadly, I just wanna first put into perspective how dangerous they really are. There's about a one in 50 million chance that your death will be caused by a snake. So that's equivalent to 0.000002%. Uh, that is your chance of being killed by a snake. If you still can't tell just how small that is, uh, the chance of you being hit by a meteor is 1 in 250,000. That's a 0.0004% chance, which is still very low, but much higher than snakes. So just those few numbers right there kind of show you really how little of a threat uh, they can be. But you probably see in the media all of the things about people being attacked or killed by snakes, and then sometimes even networks like Animal Planet even. All over the world, snakes lurk in the shadows. And when humans invade their territory, whoa, they attack. Don't get bit, don't get bit, don't get bit. Uh, and certain stuff like that, they don't give snakes the best reputation. So why aren't they deadly like they say? So first you need to understand the difference between aggressive and defensive. Aggressive is when you're kind of the one that starts it, uh, or you're the one that goes about the attack or starts attacking, when defensive is only to protect yourself. Lots of people think that snakes are aggressive because maybe they pick up the snake and then the snake starts striking, so like, oh, it's clearly aggressive, they're striking at me. But people, for some reason, forget that you're the one picking the snake up. In the snake's eyes, you're attacking the snake, so it's gonna try and defend itself. But uh, you may have also noticed that snakes really don't strike too often depending on the individual snake. And this is because striking is their very last resort. First, they will always try to get away from you. Uh, they really don't want to have to do anything with you. If you're approaching the snake, it might rely on camouflage at first, and then it'll try and get away. If it can't do either of those, then it might strike or pretend to strike. Um, it's not uncommon for a snake to actually strike you with its mouth closed or um, just really kind of faking it because it doesn't actually want to bite. For one thing, this can be dangerous to them. Uh, if you like jerk away or the animal pulls while it bites, there's a chance that they could get a tooth ripped out or a thing um, torn out or something, and they really don't want that, they want to avoid that, which is why they always rely on camouflage first, and then they try to get away. You can see through some of my herping videos and plenty of other people's videos that snakes only go about striking or attacking, which is really just defending, only when you start to agitate it or start to anger it, or you scare it or startle it, and then if you try and touch or pick it up, even if you're not trying to do harm, the snake obviously doesn't know that. Lots of people get struck at or get bit while trying to kill the snakes. And then it might even just be an accident. Maybe you accidentally step on the snake. But if you've been out hiking a lot or if you go outside a lot, uh, I can almost guarantee if you're in an area with snakes that you've come across a lot more snakes than you realize. Uh, it's even possible you could have stepped on some, maybe venomous, maybe not. But it's because they rarely bite and always avoid it, you probably didn't even notice because their camouflage was so good. There's actually videos you can find online of people stepping on venomous snakes to show just how docile they can be. So definitely don't do that, but it is a good example of how docile and non-dangerous they can be. So over the past 10 years, there's been about 20 deaths in the US from snakes. And I'm gonna list all of these out for you and you can try and see what they all have in common. So you probably see a pattern in all of these snake bite deaths and it's all they all either involve picking up a snake or trying to kill a snake and those are the two ways that people like 99% of the time get killed by venomous snakes. The next reason that snakes really aren't dangerous is because it's the 21st century. This would be a little bit different maybe a hundred or older years ago um, because they didn't have the same medical procedures and same antivenom and stuff like that that we can use now. So even if you are bitten by a venomous snake, chances are you're gonna be okay 
because you can get medical help unless you're out like miles into the woods and you didn't bring any venom of your own uh, then you might have some problems even though not all venomous snakes will kill you for example copperheads tons of people think copperheads are like the most deadly snakes ever well there's only been four deaths by copperheads in the past 10 years okay so the final question uh if they really aren't that dangerous then why are we scared of them uh, originally it was kind of thought that it was because we kind of just developed that as cavemen and we're kind of just born with the instinct to recognize a snake and know that it's potentially dangerous. This makes sense in caveman times because they didn't have any venom then and uh, they couldn't probably couldn't identify different types of snakes so they didn't know which ones were more dangerous or, uh, than others. But more recently people have been studying this sort of thing uh, not just with snake fears but with other fears and it turns out chances are that you only have these fears because of what your parents teach you. So if you're afraid of snakes, there's a good chance it's because you saw your parent maybe get scared of a snake sometime when you were younger, or maybe they just told you avoid snakes because they're dangerous. And that's a good idea. If you don't know much about snakes, you should avoid them because you don't know what they are and you definitely want to avoid getting bit at all costs. So basically you can kind of understand that there's just this endless chain sort of going on where parents might fear something, so they teach that fear to their kids and then those kids teach it to their kids and so on. And that's what's been happening with snakes when it's really not needed anymore because um, there is so much medical help we can get and because you can understand how these snakes work uh, when they are defensive, how they are virtually never aggressive, and um, how to just simply avoid them. So if you do have a fear of snakes or you're just not the biggest fan of snakes, hopefully this convinced you to either not kill those animals um, and just simply respect them because they are very important. I can talk about the importance of the snakes in another video because there's a ton I can talk about with that. But that's it for this video. If you are not convinced, make sure you let me know whether it's through a comment or an email so I can con continue to convince you. But that's it for this video on uh, whether snakes are killers or not. But yeah, that's it. I'm Alex and thanks for watching.